we were at the Focus Gallery, and this is a show of my photographs. Uh, the show ran from the first part of June to the 29th of June. <clears throat> this is the year of 1985. The Focus Gallery is in San Francisco on Union Street. These photographs show uh, farm workers uh, in California in their organizing effort. The march uh, was in 1966, and it went from uh, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, right, to until Easter, so. Easter. This picture was taken on the march. I went on the entire march. I think it was about 300 and something miles. And as photographers are on a march, you run up ahead and you take some pictures, and they, and as you're the march keeps going as you're taking the pictures, and then you have to run back or you know. Yeah. Uh, so I think we must have, all the photographers that were on the march, uh, I think there were three or four of us so made the entire march, uh, uh, probably did about 400 miles. Anyway, this, this is an old old lady with a cane, and uh, it's a white cane, I guess she's semi-blind or blind. It might not be blind. Uh, and anyway, uh, she has a little well sign, and there are two children on each side of her. And it just seems that, uh, you know, that she has a wonderful smile on her face, and she's, I'm sure, hoping that her, mm -hmm. this will be helping her grandchildren right. if the union succeeds. This other picture is a picture of a, also an old woman in front of a fence with a Welga sign, and there's a pretty new car parked next to her. And it's just kind of the feeling mm -hmm. of the age of the woman and the car, and the car is right in back of the Welga sign. Uh, I think the feeling of the picture would be that, you know, that maybe if we get better wages, we can get a, <laughs> we can get a new car, car like that or something. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, these, yeah. these thoughts. Uh, you like the contrast. Yeah, the, and the thoughts. Now, maybe that thought came in afterwards, but <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a picture of three people in it. Uh, one is a black man. His name was Mr. King. He was, I remember, I think, 63 years old when he uh, was in the march, and he, he walked the entire march. But he was a former worker in the fields. So maybe he was still working in the fields, I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, there's an Anglo next to him, and I don't know the name of the Anglo, mm -hmm. but he looks definitely like he worked all his life very hard in the fields. And in back of him is a Mexican girl, young woman. Again, uh, I really want to say that as a photographer, I, uh, again, uh, um, criticize myself all the time in that I should have got stories from those people. But I, in a march, it's a different kind of thing in which uh, you're, you're moving around all the time and uh, lots of times you lose the people. But I shouldn't have lost those people because I think they, they went the entire march. But I should have got some background on them, and I mm. didn't. Uh, and the reason I know Mr. King's name is that, that there was a little story in El Macriado about him. This next picture is a guy holding up a sign and uh, it says, Welga, and of course, Welga meant strife. And it's, it's kind of funny, which I like, kind of like more so than his enthusiasm. He's in front of the porto potties that uh, <laughs> were brought along during the wire mm -hmm. on a truck. And, uh, and it has quite a few Welga signs on the porta potties. And uh, he's shouting, well, good, and I don't know if that's for the porta potties. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it did. For me, it has a little humor and exuberance. This is a photograph of a nun that's carrying a flag of the Welga sign, and she's in her robe, or whatever they call them, her dress. And uh, it just seems to flow along, and of course, uh, people have to remember that the church was a very important part of the success this next picture is a picture that was going to Portersville, and there was a uh, overpass. And uh, I and another photographer I just saw the other day, uh, John Lewis, was on the on the march, and he marched all the way as a photographer. And I saw him the other day, and he had a picture just like this. And he said, "John, I remember your right side. Uh, uh, I was standing right next to you. It was almost the same. It was a different angle, but it was almost the same." But it's right written on the on the right. ground and the marches are walking over the sign. And <laughs> it just seems it's a pretty good picture sometimes yeah. to start, you know, uh, the chapter sure. of uh, of some photographs.
The, this picture is of Julio Hernandez, who was, I think, the first vice president at that time of the union, and, uh, and his son, John, and they look very much alike. And, uh, of course, he, he has a very kind of uh, farm worker face, mm -hmm. grizzled a little bit, and his son has wonderful flowing hair. And, uh, and again, this was a, a, a picture that I just thought uh, worked because of this uh, you know, the future of his child right. that is, could depend on how the union. I remember Julio talking to me about how you can't get things for your children. He says, you know, if the kids want a watermelon and it's hot in the summer, and if you're in the union, you know, you might not have enough money, you know, to buy the, the watermelon mm -hmm. for, the, for your child. And he says, that was the, that's been the biggest sacrifice that he has had, had mm. the union. So he says, you know, I'm sure, you know, it's worth it. But still, he, this, this is one of the things that are, kind of hurt him. <laughs> I always laugh at this photograph. And I had this in a show at the Focus Gallery in, in San Francisco. Uh, it was in a regular photography show. And some people came up and told me, well, you know, that photograph reminds me of a, of a Heinz photograph. <laughs> and what it is, it was walking through Farmersville on the march. And a guy is playing golf, and this was on a Sunday morning. And I was right next to him, in front of him, and he was putting. I don't know what green he was putting on, but the march went right by him, in back of him. And he didn't lift his head, he didn't acknowledge me in one bit, he kept on with his game. And I think, you know, in a sense, that's what the Valley has been doing to the farm workers. That farm workers can shout and yell and sing, they aren't hurt, uh, you know, until they go out on strike or something. This is Carolina Franco, that was her name then, and she was a very enthusiastic union mm -hmm. person. And she's holding a candle, and I think this was taken, it was on the, along the march, and I think this might have been in uh, Modesto, because every night we would stop somewhere, and there would be a meeting, and if, uh, and if it was a hall, we would go to the hall, or they would have it on the back of a truck if there was no place to have it. But, uh, and the, the plan for Delano would be read, and then Teatro would perform, and music and songs would be sung, and then also, you know, stating what we're going to be doing the right. next day. So it was a wonderful thing, and she's holding a candle, and it's just uh, kind of a... And people would volunteer nice. their houses? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, this other picture is just, it was during, along the, the trail of the march, and they were, everybody was just kind of standing together. And it was interesting in which, uh, you know, the front of the, the march, uh, they had the uh, Virgin Guadalupe, uh, the Mexican flag, the American flag, and I think they also had the Filipino flag uh, later on, or uh, I guess they didn't have one when they first started. Uh, but I think the Filipino flag was there too, and then of course the cross. And th these people just have to be happen to be all standing together, huh. and nobody I don't think told them. Uh, maybe there was a television camera going by, and uh, and uh, maybe that's what made them hold up the one of the the Virgin uh, Guadalupe. But anyway, it just mm -hmm. had the symbols of the march all there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> And this uh, the last picture I have uh, on the march is in front of the Capitol building, which was mm. our destination. And it's a welgus, the back of a, of a farmer carrying the American flag uh, with a welga uh, reading mm -hmm. and, uh, and the eagle. And uh, it just seemed like to be the end of, you know, of why we had this march. And Pat Brown, uh, you should have been there. He shouldn't have been in Palm Springs playing <laughs> golf with Frank Sinatra. And, uh, but anyway, it was the march was very, very successful. And these uh, are the picket uh, photos. Of, yeah, and uh, Luis Valdez here is, has the microphone. And uh, this is Felix Zapata, the one who had thanked the union. And he's out there uh, kind of uh, vividly or emotionally or whatever with his son. Uh, hands out, and, and I just think it's kind of a good, fairly good picket line oh, picture. Yeah. It seems to have a little action.
Pebble was a character, and uh, he would come out to the picket line, and he would bring his bullhorn sometimes and over-talk who's ever talking to the workers. Or And uh, he and Dolores used to get into conversations. And here she's holding the bullhorn, and he's kind of smirking. And uh, she's talking to the, I guess, the workers in the field. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is a picture of Caesar in the on the picket in the picket line, and uh, he used to come out, especially in the early days, as much as he could. He wasn't always on the picket line, but I mean he had other things to do. But uh, he was there quite often, and and I think always when he was there, the things the picket line seemed to uh, be a little more serious. Uh, he's here next to an older worker. And I got yeah. the name of this person that he's next to, an older man. Uh, and I forgot it, what it is. I got it from John Lewis, but anyway, <laughs> I liked the photograph very much because of the, what the Union could do for that older person there that's out there on the line. I don't have many pictures of great uh, workers working in the fields, but I did get one that I kind of liked. She's on the ground with her boxes of grapes that she's put the grapes in the boxes there mm -hmm. and she's kneeling down and looking up and just kind of looking up toward the light. And I just thought it was kind of a nice picture. This is maybe a little redundant, but this is again a picture of uh, Caesar and he's talking to, to the workers. And it's just how he kind of, uh, if you talk to Caesar and you get this close to him, you have the same feeling, I think a lot as this picture does, because he talks to you. And, uh, you know, a lot of people talk to people, and I do the same thing. I'm listening, but I'm already sometimes formulating an answer that I'm going to make to you what you're talking about, mm -hmm. rather than right. being intense in either listening to you or that he gets this very, he's very intimate. And I think that was one of his wonderful uh, attributes. Right. This is a picture of a, of a worker in the fields uh, during pruning when they're pruning the grapes and he was asked to come out and he did come out and this is what it looks like when he came out or this one actually could be first that uh, that's again is Felix shaking his hand oh well, when he comes okay when he come out it's kind of funny that it looks like his pruner or whatever it is uh, what do they call those oh, uh, loppers loppers yeah I like that you know, Loppers is almost going to take uh, Phoenix's hand. <laughs> but anyway, these three got to go together. As, uh, as most everybody knows that the Filipinos, AWOC, you know, had a str were the ones that struck in Delano, in the grape fields. And unfortunately, uh, I don't think I have enough pictures of Filipino workers because in a sense, uh, the Caesars uh, Union were very reluctant to uh, join the strike, in a sense, because, uh, you know, they didn't want their workers not to work because, you know, if you don't have right. much money uh, and to have to not work and get no money, you're in pretty bad straits. But it's different with Filipinos, too, in which Filipinos uh, are generally independent men because, you know, the law didn't allow them to get married. Right, right. Uh, till I guess it was about 63 or something. It was, uh, they couldn't marry uh, Anglos. And uh, so they didn't have the families and it was a little bit easier for them because they didn't have large families to have to support to go out. But of course, the uh, United, United Farm Workers uh, joined them in the strike. Right. But so anyway, I wanted a, a Filipino picket to uh, be, a, to give you one. Right. <laughs> And uh, this is a picture of a, a Mexican picket that was kind of, uh, he was presenting himself to me to take my biggest <laughs> picture. And uh, I just kind of like that uh, kind of enthusiasm that he expresses. He's doing well to, uh, in the cause, so to speak. And, uh, and this is a little child uh, in the, in the, in the, who's on the picket line with her mother. The, in the background, mm -hmm. there are the the uh, the grape vines, and uh, and she's kind of like a little grapevine. A <laughs> little grapevine. <laughs> this is a picture of Luis Valdez, who uh, started the Teatro Campesino in the in the farm workers, 
and it's an eagle in the back, which is a symbol of the Union. Luis is, uh, has a strong kind of eagle-ish look, and this just kind of juxtapose the eagle of kind of his uh, facial expression and his mustache and <laughs> with the eagle, and I just thought it had a certain a strength shot. to it. This was taken, I'm not sure exactly, let's see, when, but it's the teatro of performing on the back of a truck. And uh, uh, Luis is in the center, and his brother, Daniel, I believe, is on his right. And on the left is Felipe Cantu. And then I, don't, I forget this is an Angelo who's the, the boss, I guess, or the cop, I guess. And he's supposed to signify the cop. That's and good. this uh, is uh, Augustine Lira playing the guitar in the center, of course. And then on the right is Luis, mm -hmm. and on the left is Felipe Cantu. They, they performed uh, at the union meetings, and uh, they would go out of the area and perform. I saw them in San Francisco when they were at the committee. The committee used yeah, to I remember that. on Broadway. Yeah. And uh, the, so they, they, went, uh, they moved around a little bit. Uh, Felice's uh, early training, uh, I guess, in theater, was with the mime troupe in San Francisco, and uh, he was would come to the city and play in the Dolores Park or sometimes with the with the theater. This is just the audience thing of how people enjoyed the their clapping. It's in a picture of uh, that was about 19, I guess 66. Uh, this is a, a picture of uh, another, Caesar, another famous one, and uh, Jim Drake who was uh, an associate right. from, the, from the migrant ministry. Right. And uh, I knew Jim Drake uh, in uh, 1961. It was uh, not a very close relationship, but he was with the migrant ministry in, at uh, Goshen, which is right outside by Salio on Highway 99. And uh, that's where I did the getaway. Right. Photograph. And uh, I like him. He has a cigar, and I never thought that. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Well, it's... <laughs> but he looks like a labor. He looks like a teamster to me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a picture of Philippe Kent, to uh, I think a very uh, interesting uh, kind of theatrical picture. And it has escarole, which means scab. And right. They have the signs on them. Uh, when they're in the teatro, they have different signs to identify who they were. This is of the, uh, of the clinic at 40 Acres? Yeah, that's the 40 acres. Uh, I, I came and I, I wanted to especially take some photographs of, of the clinic because this is such an important thing that helped the, mm -hmm. the growth of the union is to have a, a medical clinic. The, the photograph I like about this is that you, that you see the people who are the doctor and the nurse and then the farm workers and their son getting his teeth done but, right. but it's uh, i think it's a wonderful experience to have the clinic and and uh, it just made a, a photograph to me that showed you know there's the intensity and the and kind of the was it all volunteer labor it was volunteers uh -huh. yeah and this are they, this is about 1967 yeah okay. it's 1967 and the other photograph is the doctor and a, and a farm worker what I like so much about this one is that who knows if, if this farm worker, it's only two of them together, he could be the doctor if he, you know, <laughs> who, who had, if his experience had been different in his right. life. And it's just kind of a contrast of the two. And I think that that uh, made me, I could see that in the photograph when I took so that's it. That's clinic two. The Robert Kennedy one is uh, he's in the he's in uh, the Filipino Hall in Delano, and I believe this was 1966. Uh, during the visit to Delano with the uh, Senate uh, Subcommittee on Migratory Labor, and uh, the photograph it was a little kid sitting next to him and a couple other children running around. Uh, uh, one of the nice things about you know, I think farm worker meetings, uh, uh, union meetings, was that all the children there. And it was like going to a, a, you know, a Pentecostal church or something, or a. Because they just had the children with them, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was babysitting in a sense, but it was a whole different atmosphere.
with all the children, especially, you know, they had quite a few children. And, uh, <laughs> but, but Kennedy is sitting in, uh, kind of between, between three, three children, and they're all uh, doing different things, and one little kid is looking up to him like he's some kind of a god. And <laughs> it just seemed to work. Yeah, this other picture is uh, Dolores Huerta. There are three children there, and I, I, I get mixed up. She has eight children, and I can't, uh, I don't sure. know them too much. But they were standing in front of a picture on the wall that says Liberty. You can't see it too well in the picture, but... About what year is this? This is, again, this is 1966, I okay. think. This is Felix Zapata, and on the back he has a little story. I think I probably got it from El Macriado, but it tells a little bit about him. But again, it's, as I said before, he's holding his hat over his heart, his big Stetson, and he's thanking the Union for fixing his car, and I've talked about him before. Oh, before. yeah. It's just, you know, what the kind of the, the Union can right. be about. Of, uh, of helping the workers, and uh, he's so grateful for it. These were all taken about, I think, the same time, about 1966. Uh, this is another picture, of course, uh, one of the beautiful things, I think, in the movement was that Cesar Chavez also sang the song of uh, We Shall Overcome. This is a picture, they're all holding hands, and he's next to Luis Valdez. Luis was there as a, as a you know, a person, and not necessarily to have the teatro, but uh, because he was a farm worker in his child days, young days, and uh, his parents were farm workers, and he was definitely for the for the farm workers. Now we're looking at some photographs of the uh, when Caesar, in 1968, uh, finished his fast. And uh, one picture shows three ladies, which I call uh, uh, kind of the strike. Dolores Huerta, uh, vice president of the union, Caesar's mother, Juana Estrada Chavez, and Peggy McGivern, who was the, a nurse there for quite a long time, especially in the early days. This uh, other photograph is uh, of Caesar getting the bread from uh, Father Boyle, who was a longtime uh, supporter of the United Farm Workers. And I think he was probably less, uh, I, I have no right to say this, but I think he kind of was the priest who, he wasn't a bishop, you know, and mm -hmm. thing. And, and, but he was always there. Uh, I mean, he didn't get much notoriety, but he was uh, in so many of the occasions uh, of, for the union. For the union, yeah. Well, this was a picture of Robert Kennedy, and uh, he was at the, the fast also, and uh, unfortunately he was killed about three months later mm. in Los Angeles. This was 1968, of course. And uh, Kennedy, I think, uh, was one of those people also that really uh, grew as a person because of United Farm Workers. Not that maybe he wasn't a good person. Well, of course he was a good person, but I think there was a certain uh, sensitivity that he gained from his being part of, uh, in a sense, the Union. And having known Caesar, I think it really uh, uh, made him grow like many of us grew. OK, here's a, here's a picture, too, of the, at the end of the fast, and it's kind of a group shot, and it has uh, Helen uh, Chavez uh, sitting uh, on one side, and which is uh, Caesar's wife, and Robert Kennedy, mm -hmm. and then Caesar, and then his mother Juana, and in the back is uh, right in back of uh, Caesar is uh, uh, Larry Etlion, who is uh, the vice president of the union, or co in a sense. I'm right. not, yeah. Uh, Julio Hernandez. Oh, your favorite, your friend. Yeah, Julio's there. And uh, there's some of the Filipino leaders. Uh, this uh, other uh, picture uh, is a picture of the nuns bringing the bread to the fast. And uh, I think they're Francisco's sisters. Or, uh, I can't remember. Gosh, okay. 
This was the, the night before the fast was ended at the 40 acres at the place in which Caesar stayed. And it's a group of farm workers who come for mass. It's amazing how you see the pictures of the farm workers and boy, there's a, you know, it's like anybody uh, would be on, <clears throat> under the situation in, the, in a similar situation. Oh, there's a great deal of uh, compassion that you see in the faces. And this is a picture of Cesar Chavez taken, I believe, in 19, well, it's about 72, 73. And it was at San Rafael, which is in where I, close to where we live here mm -hmm. in Marin County. And uh, the Independent Journal was the newspaper there, and they were notorious anti-union. And they had a lockout of the workers. They had a rally for the workers, and Caesar uh, came to this rally in San Oh, wow. That was one of the things I think that was so successful for the union was that he, he tried to work with the outside community. Uh, the boycott was that, or to involve the outside community. And of course, he had uh, a great union backing from other unions uh, you know, in the state. And one of the reasons was that he would go out and support them. So I think that was also one of his successes. He, he tried to spread the word uh, through the civilian and union uh, mm. population. This was uh, taken in 1973. I think it was either the first or the second or something. After the union became part of the AFL-CIO, they had their meeting in Fresno. And uh, this was a meeting in in the background, Caesar is there clapping his hands. In the background, there's a big mural that was in the background and it shows the Teamster. And this is when the strike was going on in Salinas and the Teamsters were. Well, actually the, the Teamsters interfered with the Delano strike too. They wanted to organize the great uh, workers uh, after the UFW got their contracts. But anyway, mm -hmm. that's a picture of Caesar and I kind of like it. Uh, this is uh, a picture of Caesar also at this convention, and uh, to his right is... Uh, the Dolores? Yeah, the okay. Dolores, yeah. yeah. That was taken also in Fresno. One of my favorite people in the Union, always been uh, Richard Savas, which is mm -hmm. Caesar's uh, brother. And uh, this was taken in Watsonville in, uh, I believe, 1998 in the Strawberry Strike. This is, after, of course, after Caesar died. And right. in the background is a picture of Caesar, and in front of it is Richard. And this is where I met Kent Kirk. Oh. Kirk. Uh, he'll remember this picture, or he'll remember that day in Watsonville.